sex with my sister? Absolutely not. Would I have sex with my mother? Absolutely not. Would I have sex with my daughter? Absolutely not. I'm not going to have sex with any of those. See, not only are they not permissible, they're, <laughs> I, well, I, forget the word, I can't even read the word up. And they ain't even, even thought of. Well, that's the way a woman is to me, unless she's permissible to me for marriage. Then is she permissible to me? She's all those, but now she's permissible because she can be my wife. I've just absolved sin. I'm not even going that way. I'm not even looking at her. Oh, man. <laughs> I ain't even looking like that now. Because I understand she can only be four things to me. See? And that's what we have to understand. Allah has revealed, uh, revealed this so that we can understand and we can have Nesta Mutmaina. We can have the peace in wherever we think that. Because if she if she might be somebody else's wife. Not because she's married right now. Huh? She might be somebody else's wife in the future. And here I come. <laughs> get ready to get up in the mix. No, I don't deserve to be in that. Then it might be my brother. My blood brother she might marry in the future. I don't know. So why would I involve myself in that in the first place? Leave that alone. Leave it alone. That's what our young people have to understand. There's a future here, and we're all tied to it, and it's going to happen in the future. So if I don't involve myself in it in the first place, do I have to worry about that? Absolutely not. It's all myself. I resign. And what did Allah tell us? He says, I am good, and I only accept good. Anything wrong, these brought them to you. Your own hands brought them to you. I can resign. I don't want these hands to bring nothing to me except good. I'm the master of these hands. My wife ain't the master of my hands. My son ain't the master of my hands. I'll master these. I control these. And I don't want these to bring me nothing bad. And believe me, I can stop them from bringing me something bad. And what is my hands? They go further than me. My hands are my controls. What I control, my environment, I can control my environment. <laughs> it was only this space right here. I control that. <laughs> Allah gave me the power. And keep thy garments free from stain. Now this is the hard one. The next one says, and give without expecting anything back. Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> really insane. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Huh? I'm going to do that. The first way you know how to do it, is that you recognize when you came here and the doctor spanked you, you didn't bring nothing with you. You had absolutely nothing. Not even clothes. But it was clothes on you. When you got that first spanking to wake up, come around, look around, you had nothing with you. And when you leave here, you ain't taking nothing out. Uh, not even a toothbrush. You ain't taking nothing with you. You're going to leave here the same way you can. In fact, I always say, you can't even take your behind with you. Your behind is to stay in the ground. But you going up out of here. Can't take nothing with you. So if I give something, I'm giving something that somebody's already given me. Allah's already given it to me. Huh? 
So I can give it without expecting anything back because, first of all, if I recognize, I wouldn't want to give it anyway. Allah is the one giving it. See? And, and we have a big trust factor in, in communities because people have shysted us and robbed us and did all these kind of things. Listen, we put the necessary checks on it and then we give it. What's the necessary check? In the Prophet Muhammad's time, there was no police force. The believers were the police. Huh? You take something from me, you have some repercussions. <laughs> I'm going to come at you. Huh? I'm going to have a dog and a snake. I'm going to have something. I'm going to come get you. Why? Because you're right. But i got to trust you because you're Muslim. Now, if you don't trust yourself because you're Muslim, you need to tell me. Well, brother, <laughs> you might not want to do that, brother, because I already trust myself. <laughs> Let me know. See? Same thing if you or, or your wife comes to me and says, my husband's beating on me. Well, now i got an obligation. I got a response. Me, if you come to me and tell me that. And I'm going to come to the husband first because he's the one doing it. Why well, I go, man, you know that brother's wife told me that he's beating on her. Why would I go to the community with that? No, I'm coming to the husband and say, man, your wife told me that you were hitting on her, brother. What you got to say about this? Oh, man, it ain't your business. No, it wasn't my business when it was in your house. But now your wife told me. It's my business now. It's public. It's my business. I don't know about the rest of the brothers, but it's my business. The police are the same way though, right? The police don't come and peep in your window to see what you're doing. The police only come when you call them. And when you call them, they're coming to see what you did and why you did. That's the way we are in this community. Coming to get you. Why are you beating on your wife, brother? Oh, I made a mistake. Well, you got to tell me something. I had a situation like that. I went to a brother. I said, brother, your wife told us you were, you were hitting on her. I don't think it's your business. I said, well, look, I got a wife and I got a family and I'm trying to get home. But right now, you're going to have to have a meeting with us and you have to agree right here that you're going to meet with us. And if you don't agree, then I can't go home. I can't leave here until you agree. So be merciful to me because I got a wife and family. I'm trying to get home to them. Now, are you going to make the meeting or not? And if you don't, you read, the only way you're going to get out of here, you got to kill me. That's the only way we're going to leave here. You ain't leaving here no other way. Now you think I'm playing, keep playing with me. Oh, I'll meet so and so and so and so. I said, thank you for being merciful. I got to get home to my wife and my family. That's the believer. And that's what we got to have in this community. We'll stop a whole bunch of foolishness if we stop this stuff and the nip it in the bud stuff. We got to get through with this stuff. Because too many people have robbed us and ripped us off in the name of religion and we're done with it. I know I am. I'll die before you do it to me. Or anybody that I know, or any believer. That's what we have to be. That's, that's the example of Prophet Muhammad. And what? Give what? I give my life without expecting anything back. I didn't get it in the first, Allah gave it to me. So you, ain't, you think I'm worried about dying? <laughs> not. I'm not. Give without expecting anything back. I'm not looking for anything back. I'm looking for you to answer these charges. You know, I didn't come to you like a savage. I came to you like a civilized man. Please answer these charges. That's simple. That's what we have to do as believers because that was the way the prophet was. The prophet wasn't all just, <sighs> oh, <laughs> you not like that. You know, the prophet was intelligent. What did they say about the prophet? They said the prophet said the shortest words with the widest meaning. You take a whole lot of time to tell you nothing. They said, oh, Rasul, Ya Rasul, tell us something that only you can tell us. He says, Amen uh, Tubalah Tumastakim. Have faith in Allah and be upright. Mustakim. Keem is Salat. Standing up. Mustakim. That's what it's. Be on the straight path. Stand up. Be a straight up guy. That's what he said. Huh? Be straight up. With yourself first. If you know you can't uh, meet what you're telling me, then be straight with yourself first. And say, brother, I'm not going to be able to handle it. I can understand that. But don't tell me you're going to do something and you don't do it. Mm. You know? You've got to question yourself first. And say, no, brother, you know, I thought I could be able to do that. I got that. I can understand. But you tell me to do something, I'm going to be like the prophet. We're waiting on that corner for you. <laughs> be right there waiting on you. Where you at? 
Huh? Said the prophet waited three days for him. He forgot. <laughs> prophet didn't forget. He was right there when he got there. Huh? And that's the way we got to be with each other. We got to do that. Give without expecting anything back. Why am I giving this? Because Allah ordered it and because I realized that that's how we're going to be successful. Allah ordered it. So, <coughs> this is the day of Yom Kiyama. This is the day of judgment. They have a lot of names for judgment. Well, in the Quran, Allah has four or five names for judgment. Yom Kiyama, Yom Din, Yom Laka, Yom Ba'athun, different names. What day is this? This is Yom Din. This is Yomo Kiyama. This is, this is the day we're living in now. Day of judgment. Yomo Kiyama, what does that mean? This is the day I gotta stand for whatever I believe in. Yomo Kiyama, stand up. Kiyama. When we say select the first position, we are in Kiyama. This is the day I have to stand. Yomo Din. This is the day that Allah told the devil, I'm gonna give you respite till Yomo Din. I'm giving you respite to the day the people will receive what? The religion. That day is here. We were taught by Imam Muhammad for 33 years. Taught what? Did he teach us basketball, football? He taught us religion. He taught us the deen for 33 years. This is your own deen. He's gone now. Now what time? And now it's time to implement what we were taught. How long did Jesus teach? 33 years. How many people did he teach? He taught a congregation of 33. Huh? That's insignificant. You think that's an uh, uh, accident? I was talking a lot, brother. You remember Humble was, he, he, he was talented. You know, he, he, he wasn't no prophet. He, ne he never said he was a prophet. What did Allah say? See, we used to get it mixed up because we had books from other people coming from other places and they would say apostle, apostle, apostle. What is apostle? Apostle don't mean prophet. Apostle means messenger. That's what it means, messenger. I'll send you a messenger. He's going to continue to send us messengers. Right? We asked Imam Muhammad, said, Brother Imam, what is the, the meaning of the mujeddid? He said the mujeddid not only uh, <coughs> revives religion, but he goes back and gets the original freshness of the religion, right? Oh, what old folks, Ibadic, old folks used to say, give me that old time religion. That's what he's talking about, give me that old time religion, give me that old time, good enough for mama, good enough for me. He goes back and gets the original freshness. Many people have Mujeddit. Gula Ahmed, Mujeddit. Abdul Wahab, Mujeddit. Revive the religion for the people. W.D. Muhammad, Mujeddit. We revive the religion for us. Huh? There's been many mujahids. Huh? Yeah, so he revived the religion for us. Now, it's found in the Quran. Oh, you may have W.D. Muhammad in the Quran. He's in the Quran. You just don't know it. Huh? That's all. In Surah Maryam, when the people come to Maryam and say, Maryam, you got a baby. <laughs> How you got a baby? All your people were chased. And we ain't seen you with no man. <laughs> so you got a baby? Come on, Mary, what's up? Right? They're crushed say, what's going on? So when Mary said, talk to the baby. Talk to me, talk to the baby. And the baby started talking. Ain't the baby the original freshness? Isn't that the baby? Ain't that the baby? Ain't that the original freshness? That's the original freshness. Talk to the baby. And the baby told him, said, I was blessed the day I was born. I'll bless the day I die. So we have to understand this. Allah is not playing with this. Allah has given us understanding of this Quran. Why? So I can say, oh, come on, brother. Sit around my feet. I can teach you this. No, no. What did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi say? He says, knowledge is the lost birthright of the believer. So I got it. It belongs to you, not me. That's why I tell them to call me. Wali Ali the Imam, not Imam Wali Ali. <laughs> Let's make do. Allah Sulli Ali Muhammad and Wala Ali Muhammad. Kamal Salih Ali Ibrahim. Wa Ali Ali Ibrahim. Wa Barak Ali Muhammad and Wala Ali Muhammad. 
كما بارك الله ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم في العالمين